experienced members, this is Nikki with your marketing team here at Crystal Commerce. On this new season and episode, we will be talking about the brand new retailer admin, the Legacy 2.0. So what's new? You will be seeing a whole new different layout of the admin with better navigation, better user experience, and better and optimized performance. Faster navigation on the help tab, support reach, notification and file reports, and also the additional navigation to explore Crystal Commerce products and services. I know you guys are excited about this and we are just getting started. I invited David here from our engineering team to talk about the Legacy 2.0. Here's David. All right. My name is David Duffy. I am one of the front-end developers here at Crystal Commerce, and I am here to talk to you about what we're looking at right now. This is the first in a series of steps to update the admin that you guys all use every single day. Before I talk too much about this, I want to take us back to a familiar place. Here we are. This is the current admin. All Crystal Commerce admins have a corresponding admin 2 that's available to look at and use right now. The new admin 2 uses live data, so if you make any changes using the admin 2 interface, it's just as if you made the same changes using this interface that we see now. Let's show you how to get from this admin to the new one. It's pretty straightforward. The only thing you need to do is click in your address bar and right where it says admin, add the number 2 afterwards, and here we are in admin 2. And right off the bat, we see some pretty big changes. The really major change to the layout is that this navigation is located on the left where it used to be on the top. Pretty much what's happened is all of these tabs in this blue bar have been moved to tabs on the left side here and each of the sub navigations which appears in the black bar is now nested inside of one of these expandable little accordions. To illustrate that let's go ahead and check out the inventory page here and we see types, categories, products, and in this collapsible menu, you see the same thing. This might seem like an insignificant change, but it will have an impact on performance. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. The one exception to this is the dashboard tab, which no longer has a sub navigation. Our analytics showed that users had to return to this page all the time in order to use the links that are in the dashboard sub nav, so we found a new solution. What we decided to do is add all of those to a new little help tab up here in the top right. Now from every single page, you have the ability to search the knowledge base. You can see contextual articles for the page that you're currently on, which in the old admin looks like this. It's this knowledge base link down here at the absolute bottom of the page. Now we've grouped that with everything else. You can also browse the entire knowledge base and you have your contact support options down here, both the email and the chat. You'll find some other familiar links up here as well. View website, notifications, and logout are all pretty familiar from the old version of the admin, but now they've been moved to the upper right so that you can see them on every page. Also, you won't have to go to the notifications page first to see your file reports. You can just go directly to the file reports page. So let's deconstruct that statement for just a second. You don't have to go to the notifications page anymore to go to the file reports. That might seem insignificant, but skipping the notifications page and going directly to the file reports page has a positive impact on both the app's performance and our platform's performance. Let me illustrate with another example. Let's say you watch the video about PayPal Express and you want to go to your payments tab and make some changes so that you can enable PayPal Express. Well, you'd have to hit this account button first and wait for the whole page to load and then hit the payments button. That means you've loaded a page in between where you were and where you wanted to go that you didn't actually need to load. That creates additional requests for our servers, and it's something you didn't need to see. In Legacy 2.0, you can go straight there just by clicking Account and expanding that and going to Payments. All right, so that wraps up the conversation about performance. Let's shift gears and talk about some of the new things you'll encounter in Legacy 2.0. The first is this Explore Crystal Commerce tab, which has links to a bunch of the sites that are contained within our ecosystem, the blog, the store, that sort of thing. So you can find those just in this link here. We scroll up to the top, you'll see a little dummy picture or um, image and your username, which did appear in the old admin off to the right hand side. This is a link to uh, your accounts.crystalcommerce.com page. And once we add a picture here, you'll also see that picture show up inside of this little image here. Another cool thing that we've added that's new is just this collapsible option on the left-hand navigation here. 
where it shrinks down to just the icons, and you'll notice that the top bar also shrinks down to just the icons. This is a first step towards making the admin more tablet and mobile friendly, but in order to get there, we're going to have to do something about everything in the content area. So there are some big changes, but you'll notice one of the things that hasn't changed is everything in this content area here, and that's what comes next. Updating this admin is a big project, and we want to roll this out to you incrementally so that you can start to enjoy the changes without having to wait for everything to be complete. Our plan is to incrementally make changes to each one of these tabs, starting with the highest impact pages first. The last thing I want to talk about is the survey bar at the bottom of the screen. We need you to collaborate with us if the updates to this admin are going to be a success. This tool helps you give us feedback in the app without having to disrupt your day-to-day -day workflow or answer some survey in an email. Right now, the survey is about these specific changes, but in the future, we'll want your feedback on other updates that we'll make to the admin, so keep an eye on this space. If you do have a second and you want to provide feedback about what you're seeing here, pick a number from 0 through 10 and add a comment if you want. I would love to hear from you if you love the changes, if you hate them, if there's anything about them that you would do differently, please let us know in this form. We'll be using this feedback as we make these changes to our platform.